Picture this, it's a dark, rain-slicked night in the neon-lit streets of 1970s Los Angeles. You're perched on the edge of your seat, heart-pounding, as the roar of engines and screeching tires fill the air. In that electric moment, you were introduced to Walter Hill's cult classic, The Driver, a film that left an indelible mark on cinematic history. As you recall that first encounter with the enigmatic driver and his relentless pursuit, you can't help but smile at the rush of adrenaline and the countless memorable moments that unfolded on the screen. Maybe it was the minimalist dialogue, where actions spoke louder than words. Perhaps it was the magnetic presence of Ryan O'Neill as the stoic and skilled getaway driver, or the equally captivating Isabella Janney as the enigmatic player in this high-stakes game. Or it could have been the impeccably choreographed car chases that set the standard for the genre, leaving you breathless and exhilarated. Now, as we delve into some intriguing and lesser-known facts about the driver, get ready to revisit those thrilling moments and uncover new layers to this cinematic gem. Buckle up, because we're about to take a ride down memory lane and explore the hidden depths of a classic that has stood the test of time. So, without further ado, let's peel back the layers of this iconic film and discover what makes it a true masterpiece. Get ready for a journey into the world of The Driver, a movie that continues to leave its tire marks on the annals of cinema. Of cinema. Of cinema. Of cinema. In the annals of cinematic history, 1,978 seconds The Driver directed by Walter Hill stands as a testament to the power of terse storytelling and minimalist action. While many aficionados of the genre may have speculated about a longer, director's cut of the film, Hill himself has repeatedly quashed this urban myth. The rough cut of the movie initially clocked in at over two hours, hinting at the possibility of unseen action scenes. However, Hill maintains that this extended version was never his intended vision for the film. One intriguing artifact that persists in certain DVD releases is an introductory sequence imposed by the studio to clarify the characters identities, effectively acting as a deleted scene. This sequence, while included in the US DVD release, was absent from all theatrical prints, underscoring the tension between artistic intent and studio interference that often plagues the world of cinema. The driver has left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape, and one notable instance of its influence is evident in the 2011 film Drive. Nicholas Winding Refn, the director of Drive, openly acknowledged the debt his film owed to Hill's classic. Both films share a penchant for stark, atmospheric visuals and a focus on taciturn, enigmatic protagonists navigating the gritty underbelly of urban life. Interestingly, the driver offers a recurring location in Hill's cinematic universe. The enigmatic Torches Bar, a gritty setting imbued with a sense of danger and intrigue, makes appearances not only in The Driver but also in two other Walter Hill films, 48 HRS and Streets of Fire. This recurring motif adds a layer of interconnectedness to Hill's body of work. Additionally, eagle-eyed viewers may notice the familiar face of Tara King, who portrays Frizzy in both The Driver and 48 HRS. King's presence in multiple Hill films highlights the director's penchant for working with a trusted ensemble cast. As the years roll on, the driver continues to be a touchstone for filmmakers and cinephiles alike, a testament to the enduring allure of its stark, no-nonsense approach to storytelling and action. While the myth of a longer director's cut persists, Walter Hill's vision remains firmly rooted in the concise and enigmatic world he created. In 1978, director Walter Hill brought to the silver screen a minimalist masterpiece that would forever change the way we perceive cinematic quietude. The driver, a crime thriller, saw its titular character, portrayed by Ryan O'Neill, utter a mere 350 words throughout the entire film. This deliberate economy of words served as the bedrock of Hill's vision, accentuating the film's tense and enigmatic atmosphere. But the driver didn't stop at influencing just its own era. Fast forward to 2017, when director Edgar Wright paid a subtle homage in his film Baby Driver. In a nod to Walter Hill's classic, the release date of The Driver was featured as the inmate number of one of Baby's fellow prisoners, inmate 28,071,978. 
It was a sly nod that showcased the enduring impact of Hill's work on contemporary filmmakers. Moreover, The Driver can also be seen as the genesis for a franchise. It served as the inspiration for the video game Driver, released in 1999, which spawned multiple sequels. The film's influence extended far beyond its original release, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. In conclusion, The Driver stands as a testament to the power of silence in cinema and the lasting legacy of Walter Hill's artistic vision. Its influence can be traced through the subtle nods of modern filmmakers and the birth of an entire video game franchise. A film of few words, but immeasurable impact. In 1978, Walter Hill's film The Driver raced onto the silver screen, bringing with it a blend of gritty action and suspense. While this classic thriller is known for its high-octane pursuits, it harbors some intriguing behind-the-scenes facts that add depth to its legacy. Originally conceived as a vehicle for the iconic Steve McQueen, the driver found itself in the fast lane to production with the King of Cool in mind. However, McQueen turned down the role, citing a desire to distance himself from car-centric films after his earlier successes in classics like Bullet and The Thomas Crown Affair. Hill, who had worked as an assistant director on those very films and penned The Getaway in 1972, respected McQueen's decision, acknowledging that it was tough to argue against the actor's rationale. Another captivating facet of the film's history involves Isabelle Adjani, the talented French actress who agreed to join the cast. Adjani's admiration for Hill's prior work on Hard Times in 1975 played a pivotal role in her decision to take on a role in The Driver. Her involvement added an international allure to the film's ensemble, enriching the narrative. One regrettable aspect of The Driver's production was the excision of Cheryl Smith's co-starring subplot. Smith's character had a substantial presence in the original, longer cut of the film. However, all of her scenes were ultimately cut from the final release. Director Walter Hill expressed remorse over this decision and praised Smith's acting abilities, suggesting that her inclusion could have enhanced the film's overall impact. In the world of cinema, The Driver remains a high-speed classic that not only captivated audiences with its thrilling car chases, but also carries a tale of casting choices and creative decisions that continue to intrigue film enthusiasts. It's a reminder that even behind the wheel of cinematic excitement, there are stories waiting to be unveiled. In 1978, the cinematic world was introduced to a gritty masterpiece, The Driver, a film that left an indelible mark on the noir genre. Notably, director Walter Hill drew inspiration from the evocative works of renowned artist Edward Hopper, infusing the movie with a visual style that captured the essence of urban solitude and melancholy. One striking feature of The Driver is the deliberate absence of character names. Instead, each individual is identified solely by their occupation. This narrative choice creates a sense of anonymity and heightens the enigmatic atmosphere of the film. From the driver himself, played by Ryan O'Neill, to the detective portrayed by Bruce Dern, the characters' nameless identities add a layer of intrigue to the story. Furthermore, the driver marked a significant milestone in the career of French actress Isabelle Adjani. This film served as her debut in Hollywood, where she portrayed a mysterious woman who becomes entangled in the dangerous world of high-stakes heists. Ajani's captivating performance showcased her versatility and paved the way for her international success. The Driver remains a timeless classic, not only for its distinctive visual style influenced by Edward Hopper, but also for its innovative approach to character naming and the introduction of Isabella Janney to American cinema. As a testament to its enduring appeal, the film continues to captivate audiences and inspire filmmakers to this day. In the realm of cinema, The Driver stands as a testament to the power of visual storytelling and the enduring impact of talented individuals like Walter Hill, who can draw inspiration from the art world to create cinematic masterpieces. In 1978, a cinematic masterpiece titled The Driver took audiences on a thrilling ride through the world of high-stakes car chases, and gritty crime drama. Directed by Walter Hill, this film not only left an indelible mark on cinema history, but also garnered the admiration of legendary director Raoul Walsh. During the film's development, Walter Hill sought approval for the original script from none other than Raoul Walsh, a veteran director known for his work in classic Hollywood cinema. 
Surprisingly, Walsh expressed his liking for the script, a testament to its compelling narrative and unique approach to storytelling. This endorsement from a luminary in the film industry added to the anticipation surrounding The Driver. Moreover, The Driver earned the praise of Quentin Tarantino, a director celebrated for his own distinct style and cinematic tastes. According to Wensley Clarkson's book, Tarantino, The Man, The Myths, and His Movies, Tarantino included The Driver in his list of coolest movies of all time. This endorsement from Tarantino solidified the film's status as a cult classic and showcased its enduring influence on subsequent generations of filmmakers. In the film, the titular character, known simply as the driver, openly disdains the use of firearms. However, he embodies a pragmatic and resolute persona, which aligns with his portrayal as a lone cowboy figure in a modern urban landscape. When circumstances demand it, the driver turns to a 45 caliber Wild West era Colt Peacemaker, a seemingly antiquated weapon for the 1970s. This choice not only underscores his distinctive character, but also adds a layer of complexity to his enigmatic personality. In The Driver, the intersection of script approval by Rail Walsh, Quentin Tarantino's admiration, and the symbolic use of a vintage firearm highlights the film's unique place in cinematic history. It's a testament to the enduring allure of this 1978 classic that continues to captivate audiences and inspire filmmakers to this day. The Driver remains an iconic film that has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, drawing accolades from both esteemed directors and modern-day film enthusiasts. Its blend of thrilling action, enigmatic characters, and innovative storytelling ensures that it stands as a testament to the enduring power of cinema. As we steer towards the final moments of our journey through the enigmatic world of the driver, I invite you to pause and let the echoes of this cinematic gem resonate within your thoughts. This neo-noir masterpiece, directed by Walter Hill, is a thrilling ride through the labyrinthine streets of Los Angeles, where characters remain nameless and motives veer into the shadows. Perhaps you were drawn to the enigmatic charm of Ryan O'Neill's nameless driver, a stoic man of few words whose skill behind the wheel knows no bounds. Or maybe it was Isabella Janney's ethereal beauty and enigmatic presence, as the player that left an indelible mark on your memory. The relentless pursuit by Bruce Dern's dogged detective offers a glimpse into the murky waters of obsession, where lines between law and lawlessness blur. Now, as the credits roll, I encourage you to reflect on your personal connection with the driver. Were you gripped by the minimalist storytelling and the tension that hung in the air like the city's smog? Did the adrenaline-fueled car chases leave you breathless and yearning for more? Or did you find yourself pondering the deeper themes of identity, pursuit, and the human need for connection in this gritty urban landscape? Your thoughts, memories, and reflections are like fuel for the collective appreciation of this cinematic masterpiece. Share your favorite moments, musings, and insights with fellow enthusiasts, and together, let's unravel the layers of the driver and celebrate its enduring impact on the world of cinema. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us and for your time and interest in exploring the depths of the driver. Until our next cinematic adventure, keep the thrill of the chase alive in your heart. With cinematic regards, 